Hello, my name is Bob Middleton, also known as Patio Bob in the industry. We've been installing concrete pavers for the last 30 years. We've come up with a whole bunch of tools to make it easier to install, and we're here to show them to you today. Here's our newest patent pending product for installing pavers, wall stone, and other products into the ground. It's a string line holder that's fully adjustable and it provides you with all the different elevations that you need to put the product in the ground. These sleeves make your paver layout very simple. All you have to do is make sure that the red face is down so you know that the product is not installed upside down. It will automatically set all of your elevations for installing pavers. Let's show you how it works. These sleeves are a very simple install. All you have to do is make sure that you install the red down on top of your marking pins. Because it's so cold out here, it has, the temperature hasn't gone above 30 degrees in about a week. We have so much frost. We're not going to actually dig today, so we're going to set our sleeves above grade. So, using this first pin here, we're going to set it at 5 inches up for this example. Check it. Five inches, we're good. Now we're going to bring our next sleeve in. We want to make that level. It now becomes a one-man operation. So if you put your straight beam on top, turn it across, put your level. Adjust to level. Slide your collar up, and your elevations are set. If you wanted to put pitch on it, you could obviously slide the sleeve down and allow for as much or little pitch as you want. We're going to set the other three, and then we'll come back and show you the Once next you step. Once you have your sleeve elevation set, you can check your primary excavation using the string line. So if we drop the string line over into the top groove, lock it in, and follow it around to the remaining sleeves. Top groove, top groove. Generally give it one wrap and then go to the next one. One wrap, go to the next one. One wrap. You may want to leave an opening in the middle for larger projects to get machinery in and out. We're bringing in your base material. We can lock this down. Tie it off, and now we can check all of our elevations. So if we measure down, make sure we have a correct depth for installing our pavers for our primary depth. We compact the soils, and we're ready for our gravel. At this point, our excavation is complete, and we've set our string line in the top groove of our sleeve to check our depth. We've measured around, made sure our depth is correct. Now we can take our tape measure and throw it in the toolbox for the rest of the day. From here on in, we're going to use the corresponding grooves on the sleeve to get all the rest of our elevations. Everything is exact and repeatable. This way the guy who's been on the job site for 20 years or has been on the job site for one day gets exactly the same measurements for putting these pavers in. Installed and graded, and now we're going to check our elevations, make sure we don't have any higher or low spots before we tamp. Major higher low spots, we're ready for a compaction has been completed, and now we're going to take our string line and move it to our next groove, our middle groove on the sleeve, so we have our elevation for sand. The ICPI requires between one inch and an inch and a half for your sand base, so as long as our gravel is top of gravel is slightly below this collar, 
we're good to go. We have one inch distance between the two grooves. We've adjusted our string lines on the sleeves to match bottom of paver or top of your sand base. We're no longer using round bars because we find they sink too much in the sand. We're now using custom square bars with attachable ends so if the length isn't going to reach where we need it to go, we just add a second piece on and it automatically levels the two pieces off to each other. Let's show you how we put the bars in. Now all we're going to do is we're going to bring our screed bars up to our string line and set them in place so we can actually screed off our sand. Our sand is a little chunky today because it's been frozen. A little bit more difficult to work with. But we just need to set a couple of points and we're good to go. We're going to do that on a couple spots and the screed bars will be set. Check it once more with a long screed beam and make sure every, there's no bends or deflection in the middle of our bars. On long runs, we always put one of our screed beams on top of our screed bars. Make sure we don't end up with any bellies. If we do, we can add some sand under the middle to match the elevations, make sure everything's straight and, and set up properly. We're going to do the other side and then we're going to screed off our sand. Beams are now set and we're ready to screed our sand. Again, it's been really cold out, our sand's a little chunky today. Not an ideal situation, but for this demonstration it works. sand and finish this and show you what it looks like. At this point our sand is graded and we would normally pull the sleeves out if we're done with them for the day. But we're going to leave them in so we can show you how the final elevation works out with the pavers and how when everything's compacted everything's at the elevation that we set it at. Now we're going to take our screed beams and use them to check for square and give us a straight edge for laying our pavers. Using a, a regular carpenter square, we can now convert 12, 14 foot beams into a giant square for the whole job site. Once we check, make sure it's square. We can put pavers on either side of the beams to lock them into place and then use them for laying. We can extend with a string line if needed. pavers are in and cut. You'll notice there's no edging for the purposes of this demonstration. We're not going to install edging because we'll be lifting everything back out in about 10 minutes. So we're going to compact it and show you how the pavers set up with the height of the sleeves when we're done.
action. So we, now we've set a beam back on top of our pavers just to show you how all the heights worked out. The collar is equal with the bottom of the beam. All the pavers are level and they've been compacted.